I lose a, a health point because I got a minus one in my thing. That's immediate, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yep. Um, just uh, losing health. Yep. Rest you just keep until the rest is failed. So. Third. Okay, Tim. Okay, this is the first round, so it's the round timer. Click number one. Okay. And then we move into the first phase. It's the preparation phase. Okay, so the first thing to do is the active element of dice and give it a roll. And we have Earth as the first active element. Okay. And then we've got uh, Time Doom. Okay, so the first black shard for Time Doom goes on the Mirror World card here. And then we've got uh, Memorize and Recite for Mantras. Okay, so I'm first player. Uh, right, I'll start at base. So I'm going to take a Rarity 1 Mantra card. Are you ready? Yep. A rippling chest plate. It shimmers and screams with the power of magic. A rippling chest plate. It shimmers and screams with the power of magic. Well done. Okay, so what do I get? Uh, Reroll anyone, die on one test this round. I think I'll take that. That's quite a good card. That's not a bad card for a rarity one, yeah. I'll keep that. Okay, Just I'm going there. to do a rarity one. Uh, Ash, could you read this one for me, please? All right, ready? Yep. Pale lightning roars through the body, inducing chronic fear. Go. Pale lightning roars through the body, inducing pale fear. No, I got that wrong. No, inducing chronic fear. Chronic fear. Ah, uh, uh, never mind. One. Okay, Ash? Do you want me to recite it for you, Ash? Uh, yes, please. Okay. <clears throat> Death by a thousand cuts is moot when one via vicious poison suffices. Death by a thousand cuts is moot when one uh, vicious cut is worth I don't know, whatever. Ah, uh, unlucky. So <laughs> close. Tough one, actually, for a... Okay, ration phase next. So if anyone wants to spend two of their held rations, or up to two, they can. So we've got rations done. Uh, right, anyone want to gain enchant? Uh, so test your mirror empathy if you wish to. I shall. No, I'm That's not going to. I'm not going to do it. I've only got a one. Do this simultaneously, so I'm gonna do mine. No, I passed, I got six. I got a six, I passed. Okay, um, so I'm gonna stick that on one of my skills. So I'm going to put it on my Gale to make it more powerful. Okay, okay, so that's the end of the preparation phase. That's the first of the five, so we're on to the next phase, which is the hero phase. We're on, on to the reversing the world. So as first player, I will use my free move and flip. Get onto the board. What have I drawn here? This is the Ruby Road. So this reads as the road ran as a ribbon of eerie red light over an endless purple moor. Okay, so I can listen and I can search on this. And I can also spend a special token to gain free move action away and one XP. I may do quite a lot of them. I'm going to spend a special token. Move away. Uh, so that's going to give me my free special. This one. Oh, yeah. Cure town. Angly humanoids with red hair wander about the town, each babbling with the languid confidence of seasoned merchants. Okay. Uh, right, I can't use another starter token this round, only one per turn, but I can listen if I wish, which I may do. It's taken the top quest card. Someone else read the quest for me, please. Okay, okay. Reaving Jacob. In a large inn, you search for a table. The only free space is alongside a short, bullish man who keeps tapping a mug of ale with a hairy finger. You gesture and he nods. For a while, you sit in silence, and then the bullish man drains his flagon and taps you on the shoulder. 
I never I was and always will be. No one has ever seen me, nor ever will. A feverish light glitters in his eyes. And yet I am the confidence of all men at hand to live and breathe on this terrestrial land. What am I? What will you answer to that? Does the answer start with a with a C, a D, an F, or an R? I would say, say an F. Okay, correct. Ha, so, so your, your answer, answer is the future. The, future. the bullish, bullish man suddenly, suddenly grabs, grabs your hand and vehemently shakes it. it. Yes, 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 Weaving Yakov loves the answer, it sings. He rummages in a waistcoat pocket and brings out a small amber moth brooch. Here, this is old, found it, pinched it, magic in it, what am I? This time he chuckles, not expecting an answer, and then trots off to buy you all another flag in a moment. Gain 2 XP, plus keep this card as the moth brooch passive item. This gives plus 1 damage to all physical attacks. That was a good one. Thank you very much. Uh, so I've got another action of my listen. Still? Yep. yep. Up here. But... What have I got there? Laughing turbans. Entrance stands the gaping mouth, a low turbo laugh issues. Yes. Okay. Unique when revealed, the first player loses a permanent minus one awareness, gains a permanent plus charisma. You mean? Take a token. Minus one for my charisma, minus one. That's me done for my error phase. Okay, it's Coraline's turn. Let's do the blood bat first. So she's going to move there and get a free item card. So I get a grinning skull. And she's going to move there. She's going to spend her token to gain a free action. And I'm going to move there. And I have got the mirror weakness. A shining rent splits the very air around you. This throbbing necklace of energy is in fact a small weakness in the world. Unique. Tile revealing character gains one taint card and one loot deck card. Oh, that's a shame. If I get loot, the serpent fang. And I get a quest card as well. This is called Two Vagabond. It's a riddle quest. After a bad night's rest, you frequent the bar area of the inn. Arm and clatters in the kitchen, and two men sit in a dark corner, bang a game of dice. They call you over. Both have thick moustaches, bright leather trousers, and eye patches on opposing eyes. One smiles, showing two golden teeth. Morning, his voice buzzes. You tense, though you do not know why. Riddle for the early mind, I cannot be seen, I cannot be felt. Cannot be heard, cannot be smelt. Empty holes I fill, I come first and follow after. And life. Man scales and kill laughter. Clattering in the kitchen ceases. Time seems to stop. Do you know the answer? Answer starts with either the letter A, B, F, or W. Okay. A riddle T or W. T or W. Okay, a riddle for the early mind. I cannot be seen, cannot be felt, cannot be heard, cannot be smelt. Empty holes I feel. I think it's. A for air. Are you, you answer? answer? Yeah. Uh, incorrect. incorrect. The vagabond sigh, sigh and turn back, back to the dice, dice game. game. I, I expect it better for someone with such a haughty air. If you do not know the answer, then I have no desire to enlighten the ignorant. Curl your lip, but you are already forgotten. And two XP. Okay. Ash, your turn. Okay. Right, right, I will, I will use, use my star, star to gain a free action. action. So, so I can I move to this one and listen, yeah? Yeah. The Hallow Beast. You tread a forest dominated by emerald green plants with huge octagonal leaves. The path you traverse wavers and reappears. 
incessant bird calls splinter your ears. The wood imposes a grand will, but amongst the grandeur, you fail to notice the parting leaves to your left. A hulking shape roars as it careers in your direction. It is a hollow beast, a brown mass of fur, tusks, and a flat triangular head. The creature thunders into you. A tusk snags your trouser leg, causing you to trail painfully behind the spooked beast. The forest blurs. You must free yourself, but before something dreadful happens, test your wisdom and horsepower. Okay, okay. four and a five. five. So, so wisdom, wisdom first. first. All right, wisdom, wisdom first. first. Success. Got a six. Okay. And, and horsepower. horsepower. Success. You got a six and a five. Um, despite the chaos of being dragged by a willful hollow beast, you calm your mind and work on unhooking your leg. In a flash, you manage it, and the world stills once more. The hollow beast loops on through the thick bush. You hear a loud bellow, the sound of crumbling rocks, and then silence. Your luck has held. A few scratches are all you gain from the ride. Gain four XP. Do they have uh, combat uh, phase now? So we're in pre-combat. So we're, we're going to choose how many monsters, monsters we wish to engage between, between zero and four. four. First player gets the final say, we can discuss. I see three. Okay, so we're going to fight three, so we draw them one at a time. Get them. Okay, red Strike, which is a scenario enemy. Got a Cutter Worm, standard enemy. Got a Lost Man, which is the easiest standard enemy. So I think we're okay taking all three of those guys on that plane. Oh. Mm -hmm. So. Let's decide, decide where we, we want to start, start our guys on the battle forward. I think we're going to go to D1. Because I am quite C, I good with my ranged attacks. Uh, I'll, I'll stay where I am. Ash is going to stay in the corner. corner. Mm -hmm. right, so let's, let's uh, move these guys. guys. So, so these guys are going to go spawn, spawn on their requisite rows, rows, but they're going to go opposite player. player. They can. Yeah. So let's... That guy there. That guy there. And then that guy opposite. So that's, that's the initiative, initiative dealt. dealt. Uh, mm -hmm. Give us a shuffle. All right, we're, we're on to quick skill. skill. So in, in initiative order, order, we do our quick skill. skill. So, so Ash is the highest initiative, initiative track, track, so he decides whether he wants to use his quick skill or not. No, I'm not going to bother. Okay. okay. Uh, I, will I will attempt, attempt to do my a top, top one, which is two damage, damage and stun in battle round one. one. Uh, but I have to roll a four to six. To hit with this, I'm gonna roll one, one dice. dice. Let's see, and I roll a three, and I don't have any re rolls, so I fail at my quick skill. That's the best turn. I am going to um, wait until the start of battle round two to deal six damage uh, to someone in row A, and I get to heal myself. So that's that's the one that I'm going to. Yeah, there, if there reminder. Reminder. yeah. Yep. Ooh, there's a reminder. So there's two, two no ambush, one ambush, one ambush, no damage, damage. and then, then we start. start. So we draw, we draw the top, top monster AI, AI card. card. There, flip over. over. We look, look at the, the uh, stuff at the top. top. So we've got an Ouroboros number at the top left, which is zero. So are there any zero Ouroboros monsters? Uh, yes, there's a Lost Man. He's, he's going, going to heal, heal two health, health, but he's at maximum, maximum health, health already, so it doesn't do anything. Doesn't do anything. Uh, right, we've got the uh, element tokens are going to go in B1. The Cutworm is going to be immune to the elements where he is. Uh, and C5. But then the monsters have movement to the right. They're all going to move to the right. So the Cutworm is not going to be immune anymore. We'll come with him. And, and then, then the, the type of skills we can use this round are melee attacks and ranged range attacks. attacks. And we start, we start with, with uh, number one on the initiative tracker, tracker which is 
the red strike, strike. So, so what we need to do this round, he's got, got a melee and a ranged attack. attack. Okay. okay. So his so melee attack, attack is going to hit the nearest, nearest person in the melee, melee row, which is one, two. two. It's going to be either me, me or Ash. Ash. Ash has got more health than me, so he's going to take the hit. Sorry. So he's going to do five physical damage to you on melee row. So you're going to get a minus one from where the row you're on. And all to his defense, so you're going to take four. So, so sorry, I take how much total damage? Uh, three. three. So, so you take, take five, five minus, minus one, one from the row you're on, and, and minus one from your armor. armor. So you take three. Yeah. And, and then the red strike takes two damage, damage physical damage, as a repost. Uh, okay. okay. And, and his ranged, ranged attack, attack hits, hits the uh, nearest two, two enemies. enemies. That's, That's going to be me and Ash. Uh, uh, for three, three damage and two fire damage. damage. So again, so you're going to take. Uh, well, you're going to negate, negate two, two of the physical, physical damage, so you're going to take, take one damage and two fire damage. damage. Two damage total. Uh, and he's going to take another two damage or armor. armor. And, and I take. take... My armor. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm going to try and roll, roll to use my armor, armor if I can. can. Uh, I, need I need to roll, roll one dice, dice, I need to roll four to six, six to be able to use my armor. No, I've got three. Failed, failed, so I can use my armor, armor again. again. Flip it over, so I take, take four damage. damage. Uh, that's, that's red strikes go, go done. done. Uh, uh, so, so it's, it's on, on to, to Devon Devin now. now. Okay, so, so I roll my, my dice, dice first, first yeah. yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. roll your battle. Uh, four damage. damage. Uh, I, will I will take, take it, it, I will take it off the last man. Three damage, damage isn't he? Minus, minus one, one for the rep he's on. Okay, I'm, I, I can, can go, go across that way, way so I can go, go there, there, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Okay, okay. I, I am going, going to... What's he got, got left? left? Eight. Eight. I am I'm going, going to use my wild, wild swing on him. him. That's, That's a one-use one use card. card. Aligned, aligned to the Ouroboros number, which is zero, so you can do that. Yeah. Six, six, six of that damage or something else. Okay, and then I will use my sword to finish him off. Perfect. Three minus one is two. Your health is dead. Your kill. Uh, okay, okay, so that's so my go, go now, Halifax. So I will press it off. Go across here, one of my moves. I'm going to use my grown axe, which does two damage, or plus one damage, because I've got my passive item. So it's three damage total. Uh, I'll also use my amplified token, which adds my horsepower score damage. One off at battle, which is another two damage. Five damage. So Six, nine. Four. Uh, then my second move, I'm going to move back. The range row. Use my blue mercury wand, which does three water damage to enemies of my choice. I'm going to obviously use these two guys. He's going to take the full three in the front row. I was going to take two in the back. And I've got one. Range skill, skill I can use as well is my, my mercury darts, which does a two damage and bleed. bleed. The one damage to cut a worm and two to the strike. And cut worm is immune to bleed, so it doesn't get inflicted. But the red strike is not. Uh, and that is my go done. Now it is number three's turn, the cut a worm. So he hit, does That's five, five damage, damage to the nearest, nearest person in the melee row. There's only Ash in the melee row now, now. So, so he's, he's going to take, take five damage. With uh, an auto three one, damage, two, two damage. damage. Yeah. So, so three. 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 And he, he heals three. Yeah, he heals three. So he, he goes up to ten. It's two damage from Ash's armor, though. So he goes back down to eight. Yep. was one, basically. That's his go done. Okay, Coraline. my turn. I'm going to start with my Gale, because that's got my 
amplify token on. It's going to use that. So it, it's two to each uh, plus four fire. So it's six magic each. So six magic each. So this guy takes the full seven. six. Six seven actually because he's a weak to fire as well. Uh -huh. Aha. So he's down to one health point, which is good for me. And this guy takes a uh, five. He doesn't take the fire damage. Maybe the immune to fire. Oh, okay. So he only takes one damage then. Okay. So then I'm going to use my. my other bow, my standard bow, which deals one damage plus two air to both. So it's essentially two damage to each, so the cutter worm's gone. Okay. And this guy takes two, so he's down to eight. Move enemy to move him down here. And he's already bleeding. And so that gets flipped. And I'm going to move my character there. And I'm going to use my knife with my once per battle amplify token. So it only adds one to it, but it's still something. Um, so he gets 5 damage, he negates 1 because of auto defence, so he takes 4 damage. So he's down he's to 4, so he's 5. One. So it takes 5 damage, five, yeah. so it's down to 3. And I believe that is all I can do. Uh, okay. Yep, yeah, that is. Right, end of round. Uh, move on to round two of battle. Which the means which means I uh, yeah. six damage, no one's in, in A. Oh, yeah. But do I still heal if no one's uh, in A? Yep, yep still, still heal. That's still skills, heal. So. Yeah, so two to two heal. Okay, we're in the second round, so overall zero monsters. there isn't any. Fine. And we've got A two and the element tokens. Movement left. The strike. And we've got just melee. That is it. It's round. Active. So the strike is going to go first. He will do his melee attack on uh, if. Yeah. Just the nearest one in the melee row. Yeah. It takes uh, five, five physical damage. Minus one. No, that's. I've only got my armor's only magical armor. And then it's Devon's turn. Okay, I'm, I'm going to move across the board to here. here. Going to use my sword. And, and as it's the end of battle, battle amplify, amplify token, token to make, to make sure, sure he's finished. finished. Uh, another five damage in your horsepower, so he's overkilled. <laughs> <laughs> that's your kill. Take the card. As well. So, so two, two kills, kills for Ash, one for Biff. That is, uh, that'll finish. Uh, so, yeah, we uh, each get, get one XP per, per month we fought in battle, so that's three each. So, we all get three XP. Move past five XP of a level, so I get the choice of a ration or a wild swing. I'll take a wild swing. Uh, and then we get personal slays, so whoever the last. Uh, Shot on an enemy gets the card, and there should be some personal loot in, in the cards that you paint. So, so I get to heal two. Yep. Uh, but not only that, I personally slayed a cutter worm. So once achieved in refresh phase, so that's not refresh phase yet. Uh, fog walk phase next. So we all we test, test our fog resistance for the sort of smoky circle, circle one. one. I failed. 
So if there's any failures at all, we mean we go to the Fogwalk appearance phase, uh, Fogwalk fight phase, I'm sorry. The first player is me, first of all I gain 1 XP, which is a good thing. And secondly, I have to draw a token from the Grey Fogwalk bag, so let's see what I draw. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm turning into a Fogwalker, about the worst possible thing I could have drawn. I do is I gain Fogwalker Sheep uh, and then I uh, draw three Fogwalkers in my shuffle, draw three Fogwalker skills and keep two of them because of my skills this round. I draw a special, a special, and I'm going to keep the effects. One. And, and I've, I've got, got this, this uh, Fogwalker walker mask, mask, which is going to go on my people, and my initiative and battle cards flip over as well. And I'm allowed, so I have some quirks, fog walker quirks, I can take two weapons, a turn character, my fog walker skills, I can use my amplify token and any magic token, all my XP. It's frozen, and I take the poison status here if I So, uh, that is the end of the fog walk around. I've turned into one for a round. Uh, I'm still first player though. So, I, uh, uh, so right, this is the events. So, we've got some good and bad events. So, mirror card first. Let's see. Pitching Dreams is cool. My mirror realm allows you the peace of slumber, but the strangeness and stress. Takes the oblivion, oblivion isn't yours. yours. You dream deeply, deep and when you wake, you're in a different place. place. Perhaps a deep desire, desire to flee your quest has drawn you back to the entry. First player heals four health, health and moves back, back to the southernmost starting tile. Uh, so, the malevolence card is what we draw next, which is the bad event. So, what will be drawn? Uh, Listen the waves, this is called. A blue archipelago glitters in a hazy sun. The shores of the various beaches no longer shimmer gold. They are a black rim that spreads inland like tributaries from some great eye. Surely nothing advances over an empty world, albeit one not bereft of life. No, what life remains hides underground. Squat insectoids cower in spacious tombs, gobbling up the last rays of natural light they will ever see. Above, a new ruler slowly seeps into every crevice. One day it will find a way into the tombs. It will find a carpet of bones. First player draws one more malevolence card this round and gains a permanent minus one uh, charisma. Okay, I can't lose any charisma because I'm a fog walker. My stats are frozen, but I do gain, I do draw another malevolence card. Okay, fine. A cursed mantra. Some words germinate from dark seeds and settle as cantankerous trees inside the mind. Nothing blossoms here save the crusty poisonous fruits of ill luck and borderline insanity. First player tests their uh, mirror empathy. Mine is going to be one. Uh, and I rolled a one. Okay, so I've a big fail. Uh, I fail or receive a negative mantra card. Okay, so one of these. A woodworm gnaw at the world, ill luck gnaws at your belongings. So at the start of every round, I'm going to lose a random loot card and start including start cards. Uh, and then we move on to uh, study phase. So each character can discard four loot cards to gain a rarity two loot if they wish, or another skill. Or discard two skills to gain one skill from their skill deck. Uh, then we've got the darkness phase, so check the reinforced deck uh, on the battle board. Resolve darkness effects, if there is anything, but the reinforced deck is empty, so we've got no punishment. It builds up and it's not getting up. Uh, okay, round marker ticks over, and we uh, complete ongoing quests if there's any. So, uh, it's the refresh phase, so I can discard the card and again permanent uh, 2 XP plus a permanent horsepower. At the end of the round, the first player token moves clockwise. 